When I last checked in on the Fall Mountain softball team, they were fighting off bitter cold conditions on one of the top teams in Division 3. And while the weather may have been a lot nicer Friday, their opponent didn't make things much easier on the playing field. The Wildcats headed into Friday's contest with high hopes of snapping their two-game skid against the Winnesquam team also fresh off back-to-back -back losses, but it wasn't meant to be as the visiting team utilized a five-run second inning to clinch a comfortable win. Peyton Alberg went one for three on the day and tallied her team's first run with a solo homer, while Colleen Harridan drove in her team's second and final run later in the game on an RBI single. Sarah Marsden pitched well in relief for the Wildcats, surrendering just one unearned run on no hits and three walks through two innings of work. Marsden, who struck out one, also fielded her position well, taking advantage of this force out at home on a grounder back to the circle with the bases loaded, before adding another put out here, this time at first. Leah Shaw also pitched well for Fall Mountain despite suffering the loss from the circle, allowing six runs on four hits and six walks. I spoke with Fall Mountain coach Katie Hanato after the game, who credited Marsden for getting the job done in her two innings of relief by limiting what proved to be a strong Winnesquam offense. Sarah came in and, you know, we've been talking about when it's not our starting day and we're coming in to relieve, we gotta make sure we do our job right from the beginning where we're throwing pitches and getting people out. And that's exactly what Sarah did. She went in and she's throwing some heat and she was working inside outside corners, she threw a couple change ups, which was really great. Fall Mountain is now six and six on the season and will be back in action today when they welcome 3-9 and nine Hillsboro Deering to town. The Springfield baseball team had no trouble scoring runs during Saturday's showdown with West Rutland, benefiting from solid hitting throughout its lineup. Kyle White, Ed Shambu, Matt Vesey, and Tanner Shumsky all drove in a pair of runs for the Cosmos, while Mike Coleman earned the win from the mound in three innings of relief. Coleman didn't allow a run on two hits and four walks, and he struck out three. Springfield is now 7-3 and, and will host Leland and Gray today. Brooke Hurd drove in three runs on three hits Saturday to help lift the Hartford softball team to a decisive win over Windsor. Caitlin Woodard added two hits for the Hurricanes and earned the win from the circle with seven strikeouts. Carissa Kinsman collected her first varsity hit for the Yellow Jackets and Ashley Bly pitched well despite suffering the loss. Hartford improved to 4-7 and, and Windsor is now 5-5. Five and five. Both the Kearsarge boys and girls lacrosse teams fought their way to wins over Lebanon on Saturday, thanks to some well-rounded offensive play and solid goaltending. Justin Norris led the boys with three goals and three assists in his team's nine-goal victory over the Raiders, with Jacob Arnold recording five saves between the pipes. For the girls, it was Anna Stowell and Eleanor Angus who kept up their strong offensive seasons, and Yanya Nowicki earned a fifth straight shutout in goal. The Kearsar's boys are now 6-5, and five, and the girls are 8-2. That does it for YCN Sports. I'm Mike Pizzone.